Would you call yourself a feminist? No. 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 I'm more of a humanist than a feminist. I don't particularly label myself as a feminist. I am a feminist, but I don't let people know. It's been around since the 1920s, and I think as long as it's been around, people have had a problem with it. To me, feminist, the term seems so hardline. It just has such a negative, you know, vibe to it. People are more likely to identify with feminism when they are given the definition of feminism. So just what is a feminist? Meet feminist Germaine Greer. The word feminist to me is women who care about what's happening to women. Meet feminist Naomi Wolf. Somebody who believes that women should have the same opportunities um, and have the same essential value on the planet that men do. Meet feminist Susan Faludi. My favorite definition of feminism is from the writer Rebecca West, who said in 1913, I've never been able to figure out precisely what feminism means. I only know I'm accused of being a feminist whenever I express opinions that differentiate me from a doormat. No one wants to be treated like a doormat, so why are some women reluctant to call themselves feminists? It was a group of feminists who first declared International Women's Day in 1911. They say cut back! Say back. And now, every March 8th, women around the world take to the streets to celebrate the economic, political, and social achievements of women, past and present. In many countries, it's an official holiday. And there is much to celebrate. Today, more than half of all North American university students are women. Women make up half the workforce. Women now have more choices than ever before. So why are all these women still marching? What more do feminists want? Don't women have it all? 